Hi, this is Dr. Jin Sung, and I'd like to welcome you to our thyroid recovery video series. Each week, you will receive two thyroid recovery videos until we reach 25 videos. Please enjoy today's success secret, thyroid success secret number one. Lab testing ranges are extremely broad. Why do you still have thyroid symptoms when your lab tests are normal? Why do you still have thyroid symptoms when your TSH, or thyroid stimulating hormone, is between the normal lab ranges of 0.35 to 4.5, which is considered the normal lab ranges? Most likely, your medical doctor has only ordered one thyroid test, which is TSH. If you are lucky, maybe he or she has ordered a couple more. From your traditional medical perspective, if your TSH is within that wide range of 0.35 to 4.5, you are considered normal and you do not have a thyroid problem. There's nothing wrong with you. But, and this is a huge but, the optimal level for functional uh, TSH level is 1.8 to 3. So some experts in functional medicine suggest TSH could be even lower, somewhere between 1 and 2.5. So you could still have normal ranges in the medical perspective, but abnormal in the functional or optimal ranges. It's only when the range is above 4.5 that your medical doctor will give you a, a thyroid hormone, such as Synthroid or the generic, uh, generic uh, levothyroxine. But, as I mentioned, in the medical doctor's eyes, if your thyroid TSH is within 0.35 up to 4.5, you are considered normal. There's nothing wrong with you at all. It's all in your head. You don't need a medication because you don't have a thyroid problem. Even though you still may have all the thyroid symptoms, such as extreme fatigue, hair falling out, dry skin, etc., you're considered normal. Well, you and I both know that you are not considered normal. If you were, you would not be suffering from all these symptoms. You can be within the normal TSH range of 0.35 to 4.5, but still be outside the optimal ranges of 1.8 to 3. If your TSH level could be, let's say, around 4.2, and that's why you're having, the, having all your problems, it's still outside the optimal ranges or the functional ranges. The same is true for other thyroid markers, such as total T4, free thyroxine index, uh, total free 3, um, and some other markers. In order to really figure out your underlying problems, you need to run more tests. If at any point you wish to schedule a consultation with me, please do not hesitate to call my office and set up an appointment. Remember, this won't go away by itself. You must find the underlying cause of all your symptoms. My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results.